Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Today we're in Scottsdale, Arizona with a unique car at the Cars and Coffee. First Saturday of the month, come on out, you'll see a great car show. With that being said, I'm with Warren Albert, the owner of this car, and Tony Army, who's the guy who restored this car. So, gentlemen, let's start with uh, Warren. Warren, uh, you looked how long for this car? Uh, eight years. Eight years, because you had one of these before, I had the first one in the U.S. You had the first one in the U.S. What do we have here today? Well, this is a 1986 Donkaport S7. The Super 7. They refer to it as a Super 7. As a Super 7. So this is an all-out racing car eater of other cars. Correct. All right. All right. And, and Tony, you had the privilege to put this one together. Correct. So Warren uh, likes to bring you toys that, you know, nobody else sees. and. Uh, put this together, and this one was not as easy as it, as it looked. No, this one was fairly complicated for a small Fairly car. complicated. What were the complicated pieces to this car? Uh, mostly the drivetrain, the engine and transmission. You know, we thought it was in one shape, and when we went to go, you know, start it for the first time, it didn't cooperate quite as we thought, so. <laughs> Let's, Warren, stand right next to me. Let's talk about the car. So, you had the first one in the U.S., and you were sharing with me, that was what year, 83? 1983. So when you had one of these in 83, you sold it to uh, get your first house. Correct. Which is pretty cool. And then uh, you wanted one again, and it took you how many years to find this? I spent eight years working on five different search engines. And of all things, I found it on eBay. It came on at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and I bought it at 4 p.m. that afternoon. And you bought it on 4 p.m. that afternoon. This guy actually moving out of that parking spot just helped us tremendously because I'm going to give you that shot right there, which I wouldn't have had if you wouldn't have left. That's pretty cool. Now, the S7 was known as a racing eater of other cars. This thing was, you, tell, tell me a little bit of the story that they wouldn't allow you to have this car in the U.S. How did you have to get the first one here? Well, it was during the time of gray market cars, and the only way you could buy this car was buy it from the manufacturer in Netherlands. And what you would do is uh, take the car totally apart, ship it over to the United States as used car parts, and then you would reassemble it. There was two authorized dealers, one in Connecticut and one in California by the name of Dave Bean Engineering, and uh, they would put the cars back together for you. So this is the, the boot, the trunk compartment. And in the back here we have uh, two five-gallon tanks okay. that uh, bleed over to each other and along with the uh, battery, of course. And, uh, Donkavart, when I bought this car, I tried to get the original wheels, but they were very uncooperative. And so we had to find these special wheels. And, and they are aluminum wheels. Aluminum wheels. And Tony, through his foresight, was able to put the car back together. We did have some problems with the engine and transmission. And Tell me about this engine. Let, let's, can we take a look at it, Tony? Can you start to unpeel it back? Because the car is ridiculously light. What's the, what's the size engine on this? It's a 1.6 Ford BDA twin cam. Okay. Paint job looks fantastic, doesn't it? We uh, love the color combination. decided to go with fuel injection instead of carbureted because of the uh, tuning ability. Okay. We also um, put a dry sump on it. Um, so we have the aluminum radiator here, it looks like. Correct. What's the RPM this thing usually, what, how does this run with this? Well, it can go up to about 12,000 RPMs. What? <laughs> 12,000. These motors were used primarily in the uh, Ford Escort race cars, rally cars back in the uh, mid 80s. Yeah. And uh, they use the same type of motor in the uh, Formula 2 race cars now. Now, one of the things is how tall are you? You're tall. I'm 6'4. And you used to be a race car driver. Yes. So you're 6'4 race car driver. And voila. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's a treat, Warren. 
I'm sorry, I pulled that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you I, I couldn't help myself. Away. Yeah, all right, so, so with that being said, you're a former driver, and I mean, this is a big car. Is there any ID tag on a car like this, like a VIN tag or anything, or? Yeah, there is. Where where is that located? Is it? It's still the shop. It's still the, it's still the, sh it's still the shop. Okay, all right. Well, the serial wow. number on this car is number eighty-eight. Okay, number eighty-eight. Now in Europe, Dongaport is not noted to have the fastest cars. They're noted for it being the quickest cars in Europe. Okay. Wow, this is this is something. All right, so let's. Uh, Let's start it up. Tony, can you do the honors? They're relatively simplistic, right? Very simple. It's basic race car is what it comes what down to. What do we have? A dual overhead cam? Dual or? overhead cam, four valves per cylinder. Wow. you up in the morning. Wow, that's going to wake everybody up in the morning. Holy cow. What did you take that, it up to there, Tony? That was about 6,000. That was about 6,000. It goes a lot farther. <laughs> it goes a lot farther. Wow, I would have had to have earplugs on for that one. It's but noisy. What an amazing car for sure. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, we're going to keep it all, all apart. And Warren, you fit fine in here. I do. I, of course, I had to take the steering wheel off and I slide down at it, kind of like getting into a formula car. Okay. Then you uh, plop yourself in, put the belts on, and start it up and go. It really looks good. It really looks good. Tony, stand right next to him. <laughs> stand right next to him. Tony, great job on the build. Thank you. Warren, what an amazing little car. Now, are you going to take this on the racetrack, Warren? What are you going to do? Little, Tony and I are going to have a little fun. What's going to happen here next? Uh, well, we're doing, uh, we, this all started off with a $10 bet with some friends of mine and good guys that uh, I can't build a car to go out and beat everybody at Good Guys Autocross. So in March, we will be participating in the Good Guys Autocross. Oh, and we're boy. going to be using some track days with it and have a little fun. <laughs> so Fortunately, the, Tony so, and I are so, best friends. So, so, the, so the professional driver's coming out of retirement. I hope so. <laughs> All right. Guys, I hope so, too. It's going to be fun. Thanks for building a great car, an amazing build. Thanks for being on my car story. All right. Thanks, Lou. Thank you. <laughs>